David and Goliath. It seemed only a few years before that Samuel the prophet had anointed Saul as Israelite. That's Saul. As Israel's first king. That's Saul. Yes. And he had begun as a good leader. Then things went sour. What's and finally name? Saul. What's his name, Gutter? It would be Samuel. His name's Samuel? Uh-huh. He said, I have sinned and I beg you to forgive me and stay with me. Saul, the Lord has rejected you as king of Israel. That's Saul, and this is Samuel. This is Samuel. See, he's tearing his clothes, trying to keep him to stay there with him. Don't leave me. I have sinned. I beg you, forgive me and stay with me. God said to Samuel, I have already chosen the new king of Israel. Go to Bethlehem, and I will tell you what to do. In Bethlehem, Samuel saw Jesse's eight sons. They were strong, handsome men, but God chose the youngest, who was working as a shepherd boy. Which one's the youngest? Right there. Yes. His yes. name, what's his name? Um, his name was David. David. As soon as he saw David, Samuel knew he was the one. Solemnly, solemnly, he stepped forward and poured olive oil up on David's head as a sign that he had been chosen king of Israel. No one knew about the secret ceremony King Saul still held power and would have been insanely jealous of his rival. The years passed and David grew into a remarkable young man. He watched his father's flocks, see all the sheep? Look at all that. And he defended them against bears and mountain lions. He was also a good musician, writing and singing songs in praise of God, whom he loved and worshipped. For many years Israel had been at war with the Philistines. Finally, they drew up for battle on two hillsides, glaring at each other across the valley. Suddenly, there was a shout from the Philistine camp. It was a challenge from Goliath, their champion, a giant of a man nearly three meters tall. How tall was he? He lived good. He's nine feet tall. Nine feet tall. He said, hey, you slaves of Saul, I dare you to pick someone to fight me. That's what he said. That's Goliath and his armor bearer, right? Goliath issued his challenge every morning and every evening for 40 days. The Israelites were terrified. No one could face the giant. The, term, the terms were these. And, and if an Israelite could defeat the giant, then the Philistines would be their slaves. If it went the other way, the Israelites would be enslaved. Send me a man. That's what it says. Send me a man. Say it. Give me a man come to fight me. If he never kills me, we be useless. Right. David's three brothers were in the army. One day, Jesse called David and gave him instructions. Take these provisions to the officer in charge of supplies. Then see how your brothers are and bring me their news. David set out early, walking the 25 kilometers to the battle lines. He arrived just as the men were taking up their positions. Hey, what's going on here? He wanted to know. David saw his brothers and ran towards them. Just as he did so, the voice of Goliath rang out its mighty challenge. As usual, the Israelite soldiers turned and ran. <coughs> Pathetic army, where are your challengers? He was saying. What will they give a man who kills the Philistine? They was wondering. There will be a big reward and he will marry the king's daughter. I will kill him, said David. David was shocked to hear this man insult the army of the living God. David's eldest brother was angry with him. You should be at home with the sheep. News of David's challenge reached King Saul. David was brought before him. Your majesty, no one should be afraid of the Philistine. How could you fight him? You're just a boy. You're just a boy. He has been a soldier all his life. That's what they told David, wasn't it? David said, I have killed lions and bears, and I will do the same to this man because he has defied the army of the living God. Go, and the Lord be with you. But you must wear my armor, said Saul. I cannot fight in this. I can't even move, he said. It's too heavy. David took his stick and picked up five smooth stones from the stream, clutching his shepherd's catapult. David went to meet Goliath with just a sling and five smooth stones. From the Philistine army on top of the hill, Goliath advanced towards David, his sheer shield bearer, his armor bearer, went ahead of him. Both of them were armed to the tenth. 
We and date when Goliath got a good look at his opponent, he laughed scornfully. Ha ha! Laugh. Laugh. Like he did. Laugh. I have a dad you coming me stick. What's that stick for? Do you think I'm a dog? Come on and I'll give your body to the birds and animals to eat, he said. You are strong and are, but I come in a much stronger power. In the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the Israelite armies. I come to you in the name of what? Name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. That is to see the victory. With a roar of rage, Goliath lumbered heavily towards David. David ran forward, taking the stone and fitting it into his sling. The sling of around. Show me how he did it. You can see your sling. Yep, around and around. Swirling it with all his might, he let it fly. Right like that. Oh, the rock went flying, and with a sickening thud, the stone found Goliath's forehead, smashing into it. Yep, right there, into his skull. The giant toppled forward and crashed to the ground. Called bone, pulling Goliath's massive sword from its sheath. David cut off the Philistine's head. Instantly, there was an uproar. The Philistines turned tail and fled, and jubilant Israelites ran after him, saying. David is the winner. Amen. Look, somebody's at the door. Papa's home. Let's go let him in. Happy birthday, Papa. Grandma. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Papa! Happy birthday, Papa! Happy birthday to you! Woo! Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Funny. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I was afraid you might get some groceries. Just a few things. Just what you wanted for your lunch. in the shopping cart to have like a little store and then over here's the animals oh, for the farm. I don't make it. Right there's the animals for the farm. Oh, we're going to. Now we're just gonna try to clean up a little bit.
Be right back. Thank you. 